What's up everybody? 915 Man here doing a video today. We live in a beautiful world. Yeah we do, yeah we do. So I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of frag tank action. I have been doing a little bit of cutting up, a little bit of super gluing, uh, mostly of Zoas, cutting them up, putting them on frag plugs, which I need to buy some more because I really don't have any more. I love going to the LFS stores, the local fish stores, due to the fact that they have so many corals, so many frags. And uh, every time I look at the little 20, I, I love it because of the uh, bright colors. If you don't remember, I did take down my 40 gallon breeder and I set up uh, this 20 gallon. And uh, this 20 gallon has been a little workhorse. Um, I lend it to my buddy Tim. Tim used it as a quarantine tank. And well, actually, he used it to put all his fish in here. And then uh, when he broke down his 90 gallon cube, then I got it, I set it up. Then I used it as a quarantine slash uh, frag tank myself. And um, I ended up breaking it down and came up with the bright idea to set up the uh, 20 gallon, the 40 gallon. Well, you guys know how it goes. I'm uh, constantly changing things up. I get bored and then decide to change it up and then end up going back to the way it was. Uh, this 20 is a really good size tank and as you can see it's already getting full. I need some more uh, racks for the different Zoas and things like that. But you're probably wondering what kind of light I'm using. And I'm using the Reef Breeders Nano Light. Uh, it's made by Coral Box. And uh, you can get them at uh, reefbreeders.com. Um, I have one of these lights on. And uh, ideally two lights would be perfect for a 20. Uh, because of the uh, the dimensions of the 20. It's, it's a 20 gallon long. I'm pretty happy with it. But uh, I do want either to add another coral box LED uh, or do something because um, some of these zoas are getting uh, shadowed um, and that's just because of the uh, frag racks I have a ton of frag racks and then a ton of frags on them the color on it looks really cool I am using a gel filter right now that's how I'm getting these crazy colors um, in case you're wondering when you shoot uh, video the blue LEDs um, usually wash out everything including the color along with that I am also using my blue flashlight um, the blue flashlight I'm going to show you here in a second I got it from Aqua Max um, it's a pretty cool little flashlight it's called the Coral Eye I did a video on it a couple of videos ago this year. Uh, this year is almost up and uh, I've done quite a few videos. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Absolutely free. I'm not asking for money and I'm just a reefer like you guys. And I happen to do videos every now and then once a week. And as you can see, um, I have zero fish in this tank i have uh debated about adding some kind of fish in here possibly a little goby something like that um with the character um and i i love the gobies uh bicolor goby blennies something like that would be pretty sweet in here and as you can see this tank is gonna get full of different frags they're gonna you know i got a lot of single heads but those single heads will turn into multiple heads later on. And uh, this tank is really cool because it's full of different colors. And uh, it's only a 20 gallon, um, 20 gallon long. And, uh, you know, at Petco, every now and then when they do their dollar per gallon, these tanks run 20 bucks, you know, plus tax. But, you know, majority is 20 bucks. I did mention I was thinking about getting another tank, 
But you know what? I'm just going to stick with this tank for now. Um, who knows about later. I still have my 40 gallon breeder. I have it sitting in the garage. I was trying to sell it. And I was only trying to sell it for like 60 bucks. But um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it in the garage for now. And uh, if I you know, decide to set it up again later, it's there set up already because it's reef ready. I also haven't set up a protein skimmer on this tank. Um, last week I ended up doing a 10 gallon water change. And I will be doing water changes on this tank periodically. Uh, because I like the fact that it's silent. This uh, tank is set up in my living room in a corner. And uh, absolutely no noise from a skimmer. And the, the uh, hang on back filter is pretty damn quiet itself. I do have an RW15 on this tank on the lowest setting. Uh, but I do like it because it has the feed mode button. And that's something that I like because... Uh, when I work on this tank and chop up some frags, um, the flow is off pretty much. Well, guys, I hope you guys have a good one. Like the video. Uh, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Post videos weekly. And uh, absolutely free. I ain't trying to make no money. You guys have a good one. Like and subscribe and uh, take care, man.